pet is a companion animal that is primarily kept by human beings as a source of companionship. Working animals and those kept for livestock can also be considered pets. Pets can reduce stress, anxiety, and depression, ease loneliness, encourage exercise and playfulness, and even improve one's cardiovascular health. Therefore, properly caring for one's pets is imperative. Today, we are joined by Julia Carter, the owner of Feed and Farm, which offers a range of products that provides you with all your farming and feeding needs for domestic animals here in St. Kitts. It's such an honor to have you indeed. Uh, we understand that Feed and Farm had its grand opening in 2021. Uh, how long before that launch did you have this business idea? Um, I've been working on it for about five years, um, trying to just get together uh, thought processes, where to put it, um, investments, things like that, um, money to put it together. Um, it finally came about in um, March of 2020. We started working on the business license. COVID then hit and kind of shut everything down, um, delayed it until August 4th of 2021 when we finally opened and uh, got our business location here at Sugar's Complex in Needsbus. Oh, that's incredible. So, so what are your expectations considering that um, we were already in the pandemic? Um, that we would start out slow mm -hmm. um, and that once, you know, people finally started um, by word of mouth getting to know us and some advertising, Facebook, things like that, that we would um, then start be able to supply more needs for all of our animals on, on island. Um, veterinary needs, dog food, all the neat stuff that for large and small animals that we can, that we supply. Okay. Right. So the idea that you had initially, if you could express it in one or two sentences, I don't want to ask you about a mission, but I want to ask you about your vision. Um, to supply veterinary and medical needs for all animals on island. Um, I would get asked commonly for milk replacer for um, young animals that their mother had died. And, you know, calves, sheep, <clears throat> um, baby puppies, things like that. And with veterinary university, we have such a large um, influx into wanting to help our animals on island. And that's kind of where it came from and just wanted to bring all that stuff for we could help these animals. That's great. That's so noble. Though. <laughs> I'm curious, um, yeah. do you have a background in veterinary studies? I am. I am a veterinary technician by oh, trade. Okay. I've been uh, a manager, farm and ranch manager. So I started out as a horse trainer. Um, I then uh, went back to be a veterinary technician and have been in the veterinary tech for over 30 years. So I run farm and ranch management has been my background my whole life. Oh, okay, okay. So can you tell us what animals does feed and farm cater to? Oh, um, rabbits, chickens, horses, cattle, <laughs> sheep, pigs, goats, dogs, cats, you name it. Everything, it's, it's everything four-legged with tails. <laughs> so everything four-legged with tails, nothing that... All in the ground, we right? don't quite have uh, tortoises, tortoise stuff yet, but we're looking to expand into tortoise fish. Um, and, you know, I've been asked for hamster stuff, you know, okay. hamster and gerbil and things like that oh, for okay. the pocket pets out okay. there. I'm just so. thinking I left my tail at home this morning, so I, I can't <laughs> capitalize on that. Uh, what, <laughs> what products do you have? Um, I brought some to, to show. Um, mm -hmm. We carry things like your salt mineral licks for your rabbit. Uh, this is a mineral salt and then a regular salt. We have our Dine, which is a really nice um, vitamin mineral supplement for dogs. Okay. Uh, we sell a lot of that. Our, our dog population, our people really like to uh, help build minerals in their dogs and vitamins okay. for their dogs. Mm -hmm. um, this is a great product. It's a natural product called Hen Helper. Mm -hmm. um, it is, goes out, it helps the chickens to produce uh, better eggs and more mm -hmm. eggs, and so it's a vitamin mineral supplement okay. for, for um, chickens as well. It's also all natural. Um, we have some Chlorhex, Ketohex shampoo that um, when you have skin issues and allergies and things like that, okay. if they get a dermatitis, then they can use the Ketohex okay. shampoo. Okay. And of course, for all those animals that are running around in the streets, we have ear tags just so that we can be able so to identify find them, find them yeah. and know that's number 10 right there. Okay. Yep, exactly. Nice. So we have, the, this and is then, a dewormer. For yeah, this is a canine dewormer for okay. dogs. Uh -huh. And then we have a blue lotion for such things as uh, open wounds and things oh, okay. like that that maybe need to just be covered, have an antiseptic and anti kind of okay. topical antibiotic um, type thought process. Kind of close to what we, we would use, our, our purple lotion. I can't remember the name just, just now. 
I have, have no the purple clue. Ocean. I have no the clue. The purple ocean, exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's the same type of stuff, exactly. Yeah, that's that's exactly cool, that's you're, you're missing your calling. You'd be a veterinary technician as well. <laughs> We've noticed that you sell kitten scratches that are locally sourced and, and sustainably made right here in the Federation. Tell us about that. Yes. Um, one of my good friends, he's in construction as well. Okay. Um, he, him and I kind of got together because I kept getting questions for uh, kitty scratchers. So uh, we put our brains together and we came up with Drifty Kitty Scratchers. Okay. And Drifty Kitties, um, he uses naturally sourced driftwood. Uh, he puts oh. them in on a, a nice platform, makes some padded boxes and some padded platforms. Mm -hmm. And uh, to date, he sold 12 of them. Oh, nice. And he's just banging them out. I just can't keep them in the store. They just go right out as soon as they come in. Because oh, they're, so, they're so creative and so beautiful in homes. They're not just a kitty scratcher. Yeah, the normal they're kitty unique. scratcher exactly. you're accustomed to. Yep. Good stuff. Good yeah. stuff. Yeah. I swear you missed your calling. <laughs> 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 All right. So, uh, question now is, what, what is the experience like having pets roam around your establishment if they do that? What, what is that like, working with pets? Oh, you I love it when they get to come in. We have a dog that shows up every Saturday. He, he starts whining the minute that his owner gets close to our store, and he runs up to the door and runs around to where all the dog treats are because he knows oh. he's going to get something, and he's so excited, oh. and he comes in and says hi to me, and then runs to the dog treats and picks himself a dog treat. So that's just the best ever. He but. sounds like a little kid in, the, in, in, a, in a candy section <laughs> he that is. just runs in straight <laughs> there and gets exactly what he wants. It, but he's about a 150-pound mastiff. Oh. No, not quite little. <laughs> <laughs> and he's about eight months old. So, yeah, he's a, he's a wonderful boy. Aww. His name is Odin. Aww. Hi, Odin. Just, you go. Are you, are you missing your phone? <laughs> your logo is quite intriguing. What is the underlying concept of it? Um, just having all the animals that we supply in our logo. Uh, so, yeah, cow, pig, um, uh, cat, and yeah, goat. So, yeah, it's just, we just want to incorporate everything. And I really like, you know, that, that it's a circle that it brings them all together oh, with, yeah, yeah. you know, with a one health and kind of with a human Aww. Yeah, you're so great with words. He was a animals. circle that brings them all together. All I love together. it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so, where did your love of pets begin? Were you oh. always a pet lover? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I was one of those kids that I drug every animal home, you know, and and asked my mom if I could keep it, and she'd be like, "No, take it back." <laughs> uh, yeah, that was me. Um, you know, I had a, a cart for my rabbit. Um, you know, had a dog, and so I grew up in a very um, a farming type family. Okay. You know, we had turkeys and all the fun oh, stuff nice. like that. So yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, this makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it does make sense that her love for animals began. Yeah, yeah. way yes. back. Yeah. Are we going to transition to turkeys in the farm? Are you going to bring some over? Are we going to bring some over? Well, there you go. I love turkeys. <laughs> They're great eating. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, it doesn't mean just because you love them, doesn't That's where our food yeah. supply comes okay. from. So Indeed. That's, Indeed. that's how it goes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so in your opinion, what are some of the essential qualities that a person should have before considering getting a pet? Um, so looking at finances being the very number one, mm -hmm. right? So that when you get that pet, you can provide the adequate housing for them. Uh, the adequate feed, nutrition, um, and medical supply or medical care for that pet. Uh, so for a dog, it would be your topicals, uh, your flea and tick prevention, um, the heartworm prevention for that, maybe a nice flea collar and or collar leash so you can take that dog out for a daily walk. Um, you know, your larger animals, having an enclosed uh, area for them, um, adequate water supply, adequate feed supply for them, and then, of course, your dewormings that go along. Uh, we do have a lot of parasites on this island, so mm. external and internal parasites play a lot. Uh, into the quality of our animals on this island. Um, your external parasites, you know, you'll see those dogs and, and cattle walking around with these big open oh, okay. spots and mange and things like that. And so being able to treat that properly um, and help with that, you know, we have some um, mange um, shampoos and dips and things like that that you can put onto your animals and help those with, uh, with these types of problems. So that's the main concern just adequate care for them. You are ultimately responsible for that animal. 
yeah. when, you, when you take possession of them. So not a little thing added to the budget once you get an Exactly. Animal. That is the biggest thing okay. is, you know, to, to say, I'm going to get this animal and then care for it properly is, is your responsibility oh, as, yes. as, as that human that we oversee these animals and we're responsible for them. You were so speaking to me because I always said before I get a child, I want to get an animal. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> it's good exactly. That's, so you can yeah. get a dolphin. So then you can a, get a, a dolphin what? with two stones. You can learn to swim and take care of the dolphin. We're talking about love of animals. She's talking about killing the bird. All right. We're talking about... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we want to know, where are you located? To remind our viewers again where you're located and um, uh, share with us your contact information. You can look right into that camera. Okay. Um, we are located at uh, the Sugars Complex um, on Kim Collins Highway at Needsmiths. Um, the phone number is 669-FARM or 3276. And we our hours are Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, Saturday, 8 to 12. We're closed on Sundays day of the sabbath and uh, day of rest and so yeah we have a lot of fun um i have one other worker with me and i'm in the store uh some days and she she holds it down for me on a regular basis so thank you drina <laughs>